I suddenly realized how much I'd grown to depend on her. All these expensive tastes I'd acquired while I was at the top. Now, Big Tennis had finished with me, and so apparently had my wife. I can't ever remember being so scared. I dropped into a pub and had a couple of drinks. As I sat in the corner, I thought of all sorts of things. I thought of three different ways of killing him. I even thought of killing her. And that seemed a far more sensible idea. And just as I was working out how I could do it, I suddenly saw something which completely changed my mind. I didn't go to that tournament after all. When I got back, she was sitting exactly where you are now. And I told her I decided to give up tennis and look after her instead. Well? Well, as things turned out, I even got so worked up after all. Apparently, that spaghetti evening had been a sort of a fun farewell. The boyfriend had been called back to New York. Oh, an American? Yes. There were long letters from there. They usually arrived on Thursdays. And she burned them all except one. That one, she used to transfer from handbag to handbag. It was always with her. That letter became an obsession with me. I had to find out what was in it. And finally, I did. That letter made very interesting reading. Do you mean you stole it? Yes. I even wrote her two anonymous notes offering to sell it back. Why? I was hoping you would make her come and tell me all about him. But it didn't. So I kept the letter. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the only person I can trust. Anyway, that did it. It must have put the fear of God into them because the letters stopped. And we lived happily ever after. You know, it's funny to think that just a year ago, I sat in that Knightsbridge pub actually planning to murder her. And I might have done it if I hadn't seen something that changed my mind. Well? What did you see? I saw you.